Hey there guys, it's Zero Mefno from Double Quest Gaming and I'm joined by Jester Logic and we're going to be doing the patch notes for the recent patch, that's the Marksman 1, version 1.0.1103 for anyone that cares, and that came out on September the 12th. Indeed, so we are going to go over the major highlights first, as per usual. There are a couple of new weapons, so uh, I'll just kind of breeze over them first and then we'll go back to them in a minute in some more detail. So the three new weapons for the Sentinel are the SAP-20 sniper rifle, the Accurized Shotgun and the Motion Mine. The new weapon for the Soldier is the Spare Spin Fuser, which is a Spin Fuser for the secondary slot, so it replaces the Thumper. And one new weapon for the Pathfinder, which is the Blinks Fuser, which is a Spin Fuser with 100% Inheritance. So like I said, we'll come back to that in a minute. And then we've got a new Blitz map, which is Crossfire. Which, which I have not played yet, have you played weirdly. it? Coincidentally. They have reduced the amount of impact camera shake from rapid projectile weapons like assault rifles and SMGs, which is something a lot of people were asking for. They decoupled the no the decoupling sorry of texture quality in the graphic settings. The next one's quite interesting. They've introduced flag drag to um, <coughs> to limit the amount of speed a flag carrier can maintain at very high speeds. The drag is introduced at 300, 225, and 250 kilometers an hour for lights, mediums, and heavies respectively. What's your opinion on this one, Zoe? Um, I don't really mind too much. It's pretty stupid, but then pretty much all servers run with it turned off anyway. Precisely, yeah. It's not being used in competitive or anything at the minute, so... Yeah, so it doesn't okay. really affect me that much. There is a new option under settings gameplay called simulated projectiles. If disabled, projectiles from fast firing guns will no longer be simulated client-side, resulting in projectiles that are accurate to what the server plays at the cost of the delay from when you see them. This is actually quite a controversial one, because uh, this was originally an injection script made by the community called Magic Chain. And it ended up with a couple of players actually getting banned, despite the fact it didn't really do much. TV, yeah, I'm actually like... just going to turn it on quickly, so you guys can see. Because it's kind of weird, well I'll actually turn it off, because it's on by default. It's kind of weird, like if you can see when I'm chaining now, my projectiles kind of appear, like, really far forward. It's weird, but it's more accurate. Like, again, yeah. if you haven't realised, I'm actually playing this live, so I apologise if I'm terrible. I'm running on like 30 frames here. It's really bad. Uh, additional improvements to German and French translations and additional server capacity has been added to the Amsterdam data server. London servers are now available for custom servers, but not quick play matches. Everyone used to play on Amsterdam anyway, even the Brits. So, yeah. onto <laughs> weapon and balance items. Uh, take it away. Yes, okay, let me just get the paper. Okay, um, we have three new weapons for the Sentinel that's the SAP 20 sniper rifle the accurate shotgun and the motion mine. So if we start with the SAP, most sentinels I've played with kind of it's kind of on par with the phase. So what do you reckon anyway? Honestly I've barely played with it like up against decent players yet. At the minute I don't really see a massive difference between it and the normal phase, but that might you know, that might change in kind of coming weeks when people really learn how to play with it. If it is indeed much different at all. Yeah, I mean, let me just have a look. I'm using Fate Way. There we go, that's the SAP. So I'll have a quick spin with it. But yeah, from what I understood, it was better if you're really good at hitting people, but if you're kind of mediocre, it's the phase is better. Yeah. But then both weapons are overpowered as balls, so I don't think it makes too much difference. <laughs> yeah, exactly, in a competitive environment anyway. Yeah. There's motion mines as well, which are kind of meh. They're good, they're not terribly brilliant though. God, I can't hit this fire. I haven't seen anyone use um, motion mines yet, personally. And it still seems to stick with the claymores. And then there's the accurate shotgun as well. And the accurate shotgun's pretty cool. Sorry, I, I am a terrible sniper. Okay, next. Um, yes. One new weapon, okay this is a good one, one new weapon for soldiers, which is a spare spin fuser, which is basically a spin fuser for the secondary weapon, so it replaces your thumper. Yeah, and, and that's what a lot of people ask for, so now you can run spin fuser assault rifle basically. Yeah, me, me and Jester have very different opinions on this, Jester believes that it's better than the assault rifle by miles, sorry, better than the thumper by miles, and I think the thumper is much better. I don't think it's better than miles, I think it's entirely dependent on the player. Yeah, the, the thumper I'm, does I, more damage. I get damage, far more kills with the spare spin fuser and the assault rifle than I do with thumper. Not that I don't get many with thumper, but I'm much more reliable with those spin fuser. I just flat out. 
And it has a longer range and more impulse. Mm, that's true. The range is very good. The range and the impulse too, but you still don't point out to me. I'm just better at air metals with this bumper. Yeah, depends on the player, I think. No! Oh, he killed himself, okay. Yep, so next thing is the Blink Fuser, which is the Spin Fuser of 100% Inheritance. And for anyone that doesn't know, Inheritance is basically... If, if you had 100% Inheritance, and you fired a... This is the only way I can explain this. If you fired a disc at 250, and you were moving at 100, the disc would then move at 350. Yep. That's, I think that's the only way to really explain it, is by an example. Yeah. But all normal spin fuses in this game are 50% inheritance, and the blink fuse is 100. It's, um, our capo in my team can't get enough of it, he, he loves it to pieces. I think it's a bit weird to get used to. It does result in the odd anomaly if you're flying back, or if you're flying in a line and turn around, so you're spinning back, you're flying backwards. And say, so, you know, I think the speed is like 290 something, that's the speed of a disc from static. So if you're going back at 295 for argument's sake, and fire the disc backwards, it floats. Yeah, it, it looks pretty weird. It's basically like a spin fuse on mine that stays in the air for 6 seconds, it's quite strange. Yeah, but then again, if you're chasing someone, it allows you to do discs that you wouldn't normally be able to make, and it's pretty cool. It, it's also, it looks it looks awesome when you're watching it live, like the yeah, exactly. Okay, next. Next, after I kill the sentinel, after I kill the sentinel... Oh, okay, never mind, I'll let him live. Uh, next, <laughs> yeah, next, uh, they changed the rage perk, which is actually really good. They um, made it so that if you're within 230 meters of the flag, which is a really big distance, uh, rage activates. And it has to be on the stand, and it instantly gives energy and health. Instead of giving it over time. Do you want to explain why that used to be such a problem for competitive players? Yes, it might I not be that evidence for players. If you were a sentinel with a phase rifle and you were running rage, it basically meant that you got three shots and maximum damage. So they made it so it's one big burst damage of sorry, one big burst of energy to stop people from like farming it with phase. Exactly. Come here, I'm gonna get this guy. Maybe I'm not, maybe I'm no I'm not. Okay, I give up. And um, they also made it so that when you get rage, you get one shot, sorry, one um, impulse jump for free without taking any damage. Basically, cat, uh, chasing is now completely viable and it's really fun. You can get to like stupidly high speeds really easily. Yeah, that's great. It's a very nice train. Yeah, everyone loves it and it's it's a very good change. Thank you, Hyros. So, next on the thing, on the thing, on the list. Um, Technician's repair kits won't repair through geometry, which is basically to stop people hiding them in crossfire behind the behind the wall and getting repairs. I would assume it just has to have a line of sight. Yeah, I think Probably so. Probably just changed it. You know, I don't like this magic chain thing, it's really weird. Yeah, at least they're in. I usually leave it on. But I barely yeah, notice the difference um, on lower things. They would use camera shake, which we touched on earlier, which is just a Brilliant, that's amazing. I think you have to turn it off in the options. Oh no, 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 no mind, you don't, ignore me. I think it was default they just, quite low. Yeah, they just reduced it and that's really good. And there's lots of adjustments here, so I'm just going to flick through them really quickly. There's, um, they reduced the magazine size and on the NJ5. Damage on the quick fuses, on like every single quick fuse. And the... There's something about proxies, here we go. Decreased damage with proximity grenades and radius on proximity grenades. They also made the EXR turret smaller and got it quicker projectile speed. You're not going to say that option to rant about proxy nets. I, I, was, I was tempted. <laughs> yeah, thank you hi res because um, I was actually talking to Gref about this earlier and because hi res actually buffed prox grenades really badly and I don't know why because they're overpowered as balls. Apparently it took several members of IDK to um, show high res in person how overpowered they were. Yeah, creature and crystal light. Yeah, which is pretty mental. Um, increase the top speed of grav cycles. Yes! Hell yeah. More grav cycle capping. And, um. Ba -ba -ba -ba. That's really it. Okay, look, we'll move on to additional items and just a few things to close this off. There's a new option under the video settings menu to control texture detail. It's recommended that 32-bit OS users set the option to medium or lower due to memory constraints. 
What is the memory constraint on 30 bit? I'll oh, wait just a minute. I. It's. 34. Is it 2? I, I thought it was 2. I, I could be terribly wrong. Yeah. It's been a long time since I used 32 bit. Yeah, same. Uh, fix an issue with players using special characters and clan tags. Fix an issue where certain settings enabled Ooh. states would oh, not on. show on a rollover. Can, can we have a question mark on our clan tag now can. about it completely deleting our name? I think so. Awesome, we should do that. Fix an issue allowing players to get out of bound on temple ruins. Changes to permafrost, new flag stand, larger gem room, terrain and spawn changes. What do you think of the new permafrost changes? <laughs> it looks a lot cooler. But um, it's, it looks... The, the little box on top looks really dumb. Yeah, it's the I'm, exact I'm same sorry. thing that happened to Bella. Where they just, they started changing it to the point where they had to remodel part of the map, and then it always looked really retarded. The, the last version of Bella looked god-awful. Played alright, but... Bring Bella back. Bring Bella back 2012. Bring Bella back. Yeah. No, I, I think that the changes to the gen room are quite nice, because it was quite small before, and, you know, it, it was a gen-heavy map, so you didn't really want to get caught up in but yeah. the box on top looks really dumb. I'm sorry. I, I don't know why they're so determined to like stop all routes when the gen's up. But. I've been saying this for ages. This is such a simple fix. Just have a tunnel that would cut through the base instead of having another flagstone lift up. So that route is always open, this side route. And then the exact same way as Bella used to do it is have a back to front or a front to back that you can't do unless the gens are down. Yeah, no, I, I agree completely actually. That would be such an easy fix, and it would basically make it the same idea as Bella Omega. And I think Bella, as much as some was bitched about at the time, probably had the best balance of like Gen 2 flag that that, that map has had so far. It was the only old Gen heavy map, wasn't it, really? Because you wanted them up yeah. for, for the field, false fields. Yeah, it was really good. Right, and uh, fix an issue where players could visit inventory stations without the time penalty restriction if the player had changed classes. And that's it. Nice. Overall, it's really good. Yeah, in general, it's a nice one. It's a good, good patch of Myra's, I think. Uh, a couple of other things, yeah. though. Uh, Zero, were you going to say something? No, no. Okay, uh, uh, we have got some more content coming up soon. We've got uh, some planet side stuff in the works actually, as well, now the NDA has been lifted. Or I have anyway, so that'll be up probably over the next week or so. The video with the contest winners will be up probably tomorrow. The winners have been notified, but we'll put it all out there for everyone to see. Uh, we might do another Q&A video. I've got, a, I've got an inkling to do one. We haven't done one in a very long time. What do you reckon? Yeah, that'd be cool. I think we've got quite a lot of questions, actually. Um, I, I I do reply to as many as I see, but I, there are quite a few that, you know, I, I usually, we got to the point now where other people answer questions for us. Which is always nice, and I appreciate it when you guys do that. Yeah. But yeah, we could do a Q and A and answer a lot. Feel free to post a question for the Q and A below. Then just uh, kind of pre-mark it with Q and A hyphen or something, so we can easily search for them, and pick them out. Um, there's actually one more thing. I should I talk about the meeting? Uh, I don't know. Take it. Take yeah, go for it. Why not? Live on the edge. Okay, I'm going to take a gamble here and tell you this. There is actually a new tribal council thing starting up, but it's going to be different to the old one. I can't really tell you much more than that because it's I'm not entirely sure if I'm... But anyway, uh, stay tuned for that and we'll give you some heads up. For sure. I don't think that's about it. Anything else? Uh, apart from me apologising for my shocking play in this. No, not really. Cheers, guys. See you next time. Dun 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 d